Boobs are bigger than usual, though, Jade. Those are some swollen cantaloupes she got sitting on her chest. I can relate. Dang, she devoured that waffle. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Trisha's house. Cause we need to see if... Oh, I thought that was his house for a second. I'm like, he having a house woman already? Dang. And we're friends with him, so we're gonna see if we can interview him. I think the maid's coming today, and we might miss him. Oh, the snake's in the house. Oh, okay. So, all right, let's sell that snake. Five dollars. We got bills to pay. We'll put. We'll pay those when we get back. Oh God, it's a thousand dollars. Yeesh. Oh well. All right. So here's Trishan's home. We need into this piece. Let us in now. Don't don't play games with us neither. You already know what we came here for. Don't worry, the baby's not yours. We don't think. He, he acting all afraid like he don't know who at the door. He got cold. Sup? You at? Hey, what's good? Threaten to exploit weakness? Nah, I'm not here for that, boo. Okay, he let us into the house real quick. Okay, Kimmy had a bad time trying to catch something. That's fine. Um, Now, we should be able to interview. There we go. I told you. Once we moved them out, now we're able to interview. That's so stupid that you can't interview people you live with. We're not even married. We're not related. That sucks. But whatever. Like, we need to interview you. Like, we let you live. You owe us now. We bought you a house and all that. You owe us. So now we're going to interview him. And we'll write an article about him. And that's one more thing we can take off the list. In fact, we don't even have to write the article. We just need to interview him. To take this off our list. I wonder what exactly he's telling us. And I wonder if we're going to write a good article about him or a bad article. I don't know what I want to do yet, honestly. We about to be the brand new Anne Rice, y'all. Interview with a vampire. <laughs> Is he talking about stabbing somebody now? Ripping off somebody? Oh, ripping out the intestines? They next? Ooh, okay. Well, we, we interviewed him. How about we, we get a goodbye kiss for the road? Just goodbye. Can we get a goodbye snuggin real quick? That's right. Let's get a goodbye snuggin. Don't worry. You can't get us knocked up. We already pregnant. <laughs> that baby ain't his, right? The baby is definitely the maid's. Definitely the maid's baby. And not our boss's baby neither. We, we're gonna have to let our boss know like don't worry. It's not your baby and either like we wouldn't have baby But no ugly people Jay getting it in There we go. Yeah Uh-huh, that's right His little teenage boyfriend can't do what we do though, huh? Mm-hmm. That's right get in there Cuz you the man now Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get in there. Just for old time's sake. So I think we're gonna let Tristan live then. Because if we killed him now, we wouldn't get our money back. You know what I mean? We'll let Tristan live. And now he's gonna be a vampire running around town. He's the only vampire. But are we gonna go on home now? We got we got our interview. We 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 got a little woohoo out of him. She's pregnant. Um, she's unmarried, unfortunately. But I think we're gonna call over the maid. Uh, let's take away this stride of pride. Let's take away her cold as well. Let's get home and see if we can catch the maid. And if not, we'll call him over. Of course, we'll have to um tell uh Trisha we can only ever be friends. Oh, we should have did that. Cause now he's gonna think we're like in love. Oh no. I mean, well. She wants to get married. It never said be faithful to the husband. Oh, let's ask him out. Ask him to hang out. Like, come here. We're pregnant by you, please. And we want to, like, move you in with us. Because we kind of like you a bit. Um. We're not even friends with him. But we're pregnant. I mean, he's the best looking man in this town. That is easy to get. Plus, he's the father of our child. It just makes sense if we marry him. Ask if he's single. Ask his sign. And he better not be like, oh, that's too personal because you've been inside of us. You don't get to say what is too personal and what is not. We're friends with him now, so we want to be good friends. Um, oh, ask him to move in. Wait, can we just get, like, engaged and then move in and all that? Or we'll ask him to move in because then we can trap him if we move him in. 
She had three hundred and fifty-four dollars for paid time off for her pregnancy. He moving in with us. He gonna live with us. Don't believe the stories about the people who died living with us. Don't believe the stories. Don't believe it. Wait, how much money he bringing? He bringing twenty thousand. Oh, well, that's nice of him. That's nice of him to bring twenty thousand. He ain't got no home, so he's better off with us. Oh, he was living with somebody. Arnett? Who the hell is Arnett? I don't even care. He's ours now. Yay. He's not our man yet, though. <laughs> He's not our husband. He's still our baby daddy. We're gonna work on that, though. He wants to be a cop? He's a gold digger. <gasps> oh, no. How did we not know? He wants to see us dead. Wait. No. We, if we marry him and we die, he's gonna be happy as hell. We'll have to kill him first, then. That's... We won't kill him. But at least now we know he's a gigolo. And what he and why he's being why he was so happy to get us pregnant. We just have to make sure he die first. We just have to make sure of it, you know? Or like when we're done with him, we'll divorce him and kick him out or something. You know what I mean? We can't let him get the best of us. We can't let him get the jump. I need to send him, like, a breakup text or something. Because we got other men's we sleeping yeah. with, and we got to let them know that, like, we trying to be, like, a, a faithful woman now. Why is he mad? Why is he mad? Wait, hold on now. Hold on. We were flirting and stuff. We, we, you, we're pregnant with your child. What is wrong with him? He's like, jeez. What happened? What? What? Ser like, seriously. I'm pregnant. It's your child. And you acting super funny right now. Shoot. Like, I mean... Okay, now now I need to think. Now I need to think. Because number one, the maid's a gold digger. He been using us. And I don't like that. And now it's going to be harder to, like, be with him... We already got one man who's in love with us, even though we know now he's bisexual and has, like, a, a teenage boyfriend. But who who hasn't had a teenage boyfriend when they were a young adult? Jade has. Why don't we just marry Tristan since he loves us anyway? Cleed is made. It's not a good man, and he wants to use us. I'm, I'm about to call Tristan and be like, Tristan, you need to come over here. Invite over. Like, we made a mistake, baby. You need to come back to us. Baby, come back. You could blame it all on me. Baby, come back. I ain't getting with this maid. Like, he donated his sample to the Baby Mama Foundation. But, like, we can't trust him, though. I need Tristan back. I need back Tristan. We need him back. Yes, Tristan. Thank goodness you are here, my love. Oh, my God. No, he lives with us now, too. We're going to have to kick him out, then. And, like, how are you trying to act like that when he lives with us? Acting like he don't know. I don't even know if I want to tell yeah, Trisha that I'm pregnant because I feel like that would be awkward. Um, pretty sure we could ask him to move in with us again, though. Can we just lie and tell Trisha that his baby? Can we tell him we're pregnant? We haven't told him yet that it's not his, though. Yeah, I want him to stay over. We're going to get romantic with him soon and see if we can get him to, like, okay, ask to move back in. We're, we're just gonna ask him to marry us, honestly. Um, like, wait, come back now, please. Hold on. Like, Grady is the father of our child. But, like, Trishan, though? Trishan love us. He care about us. Um, and it's, it'll be easier to be with Trishan than this other dude who... His main goal in life is to see our rich ass dead. Like, that's literally his goal in life. So we need to, like, romance Tristan, get him to marry us, and get rid of this other fool. Come on, let's let's get very romantic. Embrace. Let's do a, a dip kiss. That's right, yep. He gonna have to leave his little teenage um boyfriend behind. That's, that's our condition, though. Propose, go steady. There we go. Propose, go steady. Forget the massage. 
And we got pee soon. Nah, I'm not having it. We 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 need to get engaged and married tonight. We don't need a big old wedding. We just need to get married. Okay, that's on the list. There we go. See, life already getting better now. Proposed marriage. Like, listen, I know this baby ain't yours, and you're the living undead and a bisexual, and I still love you. So marry me, please. There we go. There we go. You taking our last name, too, sir. You taking our last name. Peace of no. Oh, my God, no. This is so embarrassing. We're going to pee ourselves. No. This was never on the list. No. We're going to pee ourselves. It happened. It happened. It, it happened. It's embarrassing. We know. We know it's embarrassing. We're very embarrassed. But guess what? You still going to marry us, though, right? Right? Still going to marry me, right? <laughs> Have private wedding. I saw it. We peed on him. We we le legit peed on him. But you know what though? Um, and he's playing our guitar. My goodness. Have private wedding. You know what? I'm gonna have Trisha feed on this man. I'm legit gonna put in my vampire mod so that vampires can eat people and feed on this dude. Like kill him dead. Eat his face. Anyway, we getting married. Our baby daddy playing guitar in the background, not clean a damn thing. Lost his chance to um uh see his rich spouse die and become a ghost. So it ain't gonna happen for him. We all live together. Can we kick him out? See, he get too much money if we kick him out. I can't have that. Um But yeah, we're like all a family and whatever. I guess. I guess we're family. <laughs> we're very once again we're in a very weird family. So Tristan's happy because he's married and all that. And you know what? Uh I know she's smelling everything. But I'm gonna let her take the shower and then I'm gonna make her give birth. Like right here, right now, in the middle of the floor. Is everyone watching? I want everyone here when she starts giving birth. The cat need to come down. No one the cat is sleeping on my dresser. What the hell, cat? Crazy cat. Crazy ass cat. <laughs> yeah, every, everyone. She's counting. She's like, everybody here, because I'm about to go into labor. Um, pregnancy option. Uh, 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 start labor now. I paused her pregnancy, so technically she'd probably be giving birth right now anyways. Look at that. My husband and my baby daddy got the same haircut and both freaking out. So I feel like this is a very interesting predicament because are both of them allowed in the delivery room? Because once my husband, once my baby daddy. So I don't know. Anyway, come on, take me to the hospital. You ain't coming? You bum. He'll, he'll come because he's the baby's father. You're like Bridget Jones' baby. I'm gonna have two men in the delivery room with me. He gonna have to take his own car. I only think he got a car, but whatever. Jay drove. Who's this? Oh, this is another dude. Some chick here. Anyway, let's let's go have Jay's baby. Let's go have her baby. Y'all need to stop freaking out. I'm going into the hospital. He's too busy admiring his ring. Wait, so he drove me to the hospital, but he's not going in there. Oh, he's kind of thirsty. You better not die in there. And where you at? You not going? I am in labor. Why aren't you going to the hospital with me? See? I already know I don't like you now. We, we gotta do something. We gotta kill him or something. Anyway, Jay's had her baby. All she can think of is having a woohoo with Tristan. Going on a date with Tristan. Befriending two celebrities. We good on that one. We'll fast forward till she has this baby. Oh, okay. Oh, she had a boy, and she wanted a boy, so that's cool. Um, so let's see. Pressy went so well, we get to pick two traits. But what are we going to name him? Um, I think I'll name him Raymond. Raymond. Yeah, I think so. I can't really think of anything. And I'm just going to, like, random the traits. Insane and friendly? No. No. Grumpy and brave, no. Like sleeper and good, yeah. Come on, give me two good traits, please. Virtual is not a genius. I'll take that one. 
So he looks human. I don't think he's a vampire baby. Oh, that's right. He's not a vampire because he... Trisha's not the father. <gasps> Sorry, I forgot. I forgot Trisha's not the daddy. Our son couldn't have been a vampire. Oops. Okay, I saw a cat and I thought that was our cat. I'm like, our cat better be home. So is today the spring fling or something? Because Jade always wanted to be the spring fling queen, but she... She, she never got the chance to go to the spring fair, but I don't care, to be honest with you. Anyway, we had our baby. Um, It's not yours. Sorry about that. Um, But uh, we had a baby. And he's cute. And whatnot. But I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking, I don't want Trishan to be a vampire. I want him to go take the cure. Where do you buy the cure at? I think you buy it at the science lab. I don't want him to be a vampire. It's funny because his life goal is to now turn to night and he won't be a vampire anymore. What do you do? We gotta figure out what to do about him. Try to think of a way to kill him so that no one would care and I don't think that that's possible. Anyway though, Trishan is gonna go get the cure. Why is he driving a sloppy jalopy though? Makes no sense. And what, he wants to brood for three hours? Are you kidding me? Join a musical career. Hmm, that might actually be good for him. Anyway, I'm gonna have him take the cure and sell that sloppy jalopy for 950 bucks. It takes him a while to actually take the cure too. Like they'll just stand there for like a long time before they actually drink it. There we go. He's not bad looking as a human. Oh, he know it, he know it, okay. Well, number one, we got some things to clear. Number one, you gonna have to tell that little boy that you can't be with him no more. Number one, because he's ugly, and number two, because you married now to a woman. So you, you, you ain't gonna be running around town on me sitting with no teenage boy. And you last name bad be Carter. His last name is Carter now. Cool. Change a diaper, feed him, snuggle him, buy some baby things real quick. So now Jade is married, she has a son, and she has a baby daddy that she has to find a way to get rid of. Um. I think we're just gonna do the old death note thing again and try and keep our hands clean as much as possible with this. So you have to always take it out and then put it back into your pocket before using it. And now write his name. Where's his name on the list? There we go. I'm sorry. I, I know the son probably wants to know their father, but like, I'm not gonna let him get away with like getting money off of me because we moved him in and getting money off of me because I may die one day and he'll get to see my ghost? Nah, I can't have that happen. So I have to kill him. I just have to do it. So let's write his name and kill him while he sleeps. And we'll just fast forward a little bit while she contemplates writing his name and feel bad about it for like 10 seconds. So he should be waking up to die now. Oh, he woke up just in time to die. That's, that's wonderful. I'm following him. Yep. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Sad. So sad. Oh no. I know. Like, how did that happen? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I wish I feel worse. Actually, I don't feel anything. So relieved, actually. That's that's worse than feeling nothing. <laughs> anyway, he did. He looks very thin. When they die like that, they look very skinny. Unfortunately, we're gonna have like like he's not buff at all no more. He must have starved to death. Now everyone's gonna mourn, but guess what? We're not gonna mourn. No, nope, we are not. I'm gonna take away the mourning, cause we are not gonna mourn this man's death. I don't got time for it. We're not mourning. See, look at that. How the mourning is over. What we are going to do, however, um, is go move his tombstone to the cemetery. So, like, if the son wants to when he's older, he can go visit his daddy's grave. But he'll never know him. And he's probably better off that way because his daddy was a user and an abuser and a two-time loser. So, yay, happiness. Anyway, Jay's tired. Trisha's tired. Trisha need a job, though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Trisha need to find a job real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll 
change his stuff later on because he has to figure out what he wants to do with his life and all that. The baby's in bed. Um, Kimmy need to go sleep. In fact, everyone's hungry too. But anyway, I'm just gonna put everyone to sleep. And uh, we'll be back in the morning. But I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. We've done good here today, people. We did. We paid our money to get kids just like anybody else. There we go. Oh, we... Oh, snap. We... That kiss. Look how strong that kiss game was. When you kiss a man very deeply, very he heavily, you get pregnant. Wait, this kiss... She kissing her hard, too, though. I can't get pregnant by you both. Rando. Because he's a Rando's baby. Oh, shoot. What the heck? I thought that was our baby. I was like, oh, no. Our baby's all jacked up. 